Before you can create a requirements list, you need to select a product, in this case a Bluetooth speaker that I intend to sell in the EU. Click this button. You select the module, the market. Now you have to select product modules. I'm selling a Bluetooth speaker. I will definitely need to select the electronics module. It also contains a battery. And it comes in packaging, uh, three modules. Likewise, if you sell, say, electronic toys, you would add the toy module and combine that with the electronics module and maybe the battery module. On this page, you have to set the specifications, and these are different parameters that, in some capacity, impact the compliance requirements. I need to set if my product is within this voltage range, which it is. If it's Bluetooth enabled, yes. Based on my inputs, the system is, is generating a requirements list and something that could have taken me hours, maybe even days of research, uh, can now be achieved in a matter of minutes. Down here you find the requirements list and each of these entries contain a summary. So what should you, should you do with this summary? Well, you have to read it. That's step one. To understand the scope, exemptions and general requirements, you will need to create documentation. We have templates for a variety of documentation requirements. You need to create label files. You can find information, sources concerning labeling requirements in many entries, and you can also go to the label creator from here. Likewise, many Regulations and directives have some sort of testing requirement and that is another component of these summaries. You can also find sources, the sources which the summary is based on. You can also find information about the version of the source that was the basis for this summary. But in short, you need to take action on the contents in the summary and the sources and you need to work your way through the requirements list one item or one entry at a time. There's there are no shortcuts, that's simply the way it works. And if you for some reason deem that something is not relevant, you can also dismiss. So that's the principle. You start by selecting modules, you set specifications, and then you have to get to work on the items in the compliance requirements list. Up here you can also download a PDF version if you intend to share, share it with your colleagues or through support.